<laughs> How you doing, Solution? I'm doing quite well. I'm doing quite well myself. I'm doing pretty fantastic. I don't think that, um, I think Smokey's at the mountain. Oh, okay. I think that, I don't know if Smokey has made it back from the mountain uh, today. So we'll see if she chimes mm -hmm. in. But if she doesn't chime in today, we were sending her love wherever she's at. And um, it is May, wait, June, June, um, I'm June 6th. June 6th. 2021 um we are just ending from the we just finished the the lunar eclipse and the lunar eclipse the energy of all of the eclipses lasts for about six months or longer mm -hmm. so um we just had an, a, a lunar eclipse and now we're about to have a solar eclipse that's happening the ring of fire that's happening june 10th that's the solar eclipse so i want to encourage you guys to check out the um <clears throat> what is the spiritual meaning of a solar eclipse oh, here she is. hola smokadocious i just walked in the door you made it from the mountain we were just saying wow. that you were you were in the mountain so we were sending you love in the yeah, mountain, yes, did. and <laughs> here you are. How was it? Uh, it was still the mountain. In fact, they they had the. Are we on on the radio? We're now? on live. Yeah. Oh, okay. They had the they had the gate. No trespassing. It was closed off. No motorcycles or anything. But you could still get around it, though. Oh wow! So anyway, yeah. Did you see any so, snakes? No, no. That's good. I was. You know, I wasn't looking for it, girl. I wasn't looking <laughs> for it, but it was a good workout. I still ran my little quarter, little through the gate part, back and forth. So, okay, let's do it, though. I'm ready. I'm so happy for you. Well, welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. I was just talking about how on June 10th is the solar eclipse. <clears throat> the ring of fire. Really? Yes. That's on the 10th, and we just finish with the lunar eclipse so this is mm -hmm. just an indication of just the power of what is happening and how you know things are moving around you know even if you're not thinking anything is happening even if you're feeling like oh there's nothing going on i'm bored i'm just chilling there is yes. so much happening in the in the world that we can't see you know and so this um, solar eclipse, the ring of fire, I was just encouraging everyone to look up the spiritual meaning of solar eclipses and what that is. Um, meditate on what that means for you. This ring of fire, I mean, think about it. You know what I mean? The ring of fire sounds like no joke to me. Um, so I encourage you guys to, to go ahead and check that out. But we're going to go ahead and get started with today's Bible study. We're reading from a metaphysical interpretation of the Bible by Stephen L. Harefield. If you haven't gotten your copy yet, if you are in the study group, there is a copy of that in the study group through um, Gabrielle, I believe. So um, you guys could, could have access to it. And I believe somebody else in the group has found it for, uh, I think, $300 online. So that wow. is a real good price from the nine hundred dollars that it originally was. So, Mercury still in retrograde. Um, I believe that Smokey is Mercury still in retrograde. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I'm. I'm pretty sure it's right around the end of June. I'm not positive to twenty third or something around that time frame. I'm not positive about the end date, though. I know it's the latter part of June, though. Oh wow! Thanks for the great news. The, the the good news is that we don't really trip off of Mercury in retrograde because it seems like it's in metro in retrograde more often than not. Yeah. So, mm. all right, Smokey, I'm gonna go give it to you. Woo. Okay. Father, Mother, God, we come before you today with an open heart and open mind and a body that is radiant with your love and energy. We ask that for your guidance, for your understanding, and 
knowing that all is well in the world. Although it may look like it's chaotic and there is no rhyme or reason for where we are, there is always a reason, and we are part of that reason. We ask again with a humble heart and a grateful mind that you are with us and protecting us and see us through all challenges this day and days to follow. We ask these things knowing that where we are, you are, and so it is. And so it is. All right. That was fantastic, Sophie. Thank you. You're welcome. So (laughs) today is my turn. So I will be opening up a page today. I didn't make any predictions on anything on what I was, um, what we might be opening up today. Um, But I know that it's going to be good as it always is. So Mm -hmm. here we go. Smokey, you got your Bible? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Page 635. It's so funny, Smokey, because it's like I opened it and then I was going to go to another page and my hand said, no, stay in that page that you originally <laughs> opened it. Goodness gracious. I know I've been fighting, Smokey. Buddy. Okay. 635. 635. All right. And I'm going to go straight to Revelation 9, verse 3. Okay. I'm with you. You with me? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Revelation 9 verse 3 gives us a frightening rendition of the illusions which we will be confronted, which will be confronted such as locusts and the suffering they will cause humankind. This allegory represents our present ego-based mindset playing on our fears during Mm. and after our reality has shifted to a higher vibration in the lower centers of our body. Could this biblical discourse have been another attempt by the founders at establishing fear in the early minds to steer them onto the path of the first churches? In Revelation 9, verse 4, we read about the divine compassion toward beauty, innocence, and purity scattered throughout our world, and we find the symbol of the seal of God. Modern versions are written as follows, but only the men who do not have the seal of God on their foreheads. In older Bibles, such as King James 1837 printing, we find the the on replaced by in, the original word used. Apparently, our contemporary translations could not explain this and change the word, and that is a distant difference. Allow us to briefly probe the subject of intuitive sense, something that was as natural to the master as it can be with each of us. It is an unused area for most, but it is being awakened by the events depicted in Revelation. It is surprising how the changing of one's innocuous word of one innocuous word can influence our mind's imagery and our understanding of the message being expressed. If the seal is on the forehead, one would imagine that it is there so that all may see acceptance of God. However, considering the compassionate nature of the creator and its belief in total equality, this could only bring resentment and divisiveness, thus the, the translation can be questionable. I'm going to keep going on so that we could understand what he's getting to. Okay. On the other hand, the master told us that the kingdom is within us and that we all have the same creator. This applies to every human, whether he or she follows another ideology. If the acceptance of the creative principle is within us, the seal would be in us, within our souls and hearts, and would be reflected in our thoughts, words, and actions. Perhaps the 1837 translation was correct. Further, in Eastern philosophy, the seal in the forehead is known as the third eye. It is Mm. the east of our intuitive sense system an attribute that allows us to gaze into the unseen and the moon is its sign. It gives us the ability to peer into the penumbra, 
of infinity and of things to come. It provides the necessary light of comprehension in the shadows of confusion and ignorance. It is indeed a dormant gift that we must activate and apply to our lives. Those who are fortunate enough to discover and use it will, according to the above quote, be spread the torment of the metaphorical locust plague. Ache. They will be recognized by their higher understanding of events that are to take place during the shift and will be prepared for them. It is, it is this intuitive sense that is rejected by the majority of organized religions and that they qualify as, e that they qualify as evil. It is a divine gift without which there could not have been prophecies and their fulfillment. It allows us to locate the higher truth, but obviously the literalist do not wish to do not wish us to do it. Ironically, the Bible and the words of the master are a continuous example of the intuitive power available to us all. With it, we can travel the path the master left for us to follow, and that very path will protect us for it leads to the seal of God. It is the key to the bottomless pit. Ooh, Ache, mm -hmm. amen, I mean, mm -hmm. oh my goodness. That was a good one. I, I mean, that's literally where we are today, even with the shot. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I mean, all of this is just so relevant. And it's 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 really pretty amazing how we, when we do this, the things that, because this has been a crazy first of the month. Mm -hmm. I mean, a really crazy first of the month. So, this is very, very, very clarifying for me personally. So I'm like, yes, 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 yes. It's On all terms. The fact that they're offering people money to take to take this shot, you know, that what does that say? You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And there's mm -hmm. a lot of people that are making, you know, wherever their choices are, that's what, you know, that's where they are, you know? And it's like, we're in a time of true, awakening and i know we've been mm -hmm. seeing this coming for a long time it started becoming yep. really clear to us in 2012 but it's yep. like now we're in it we're we're all the way in it and it is such yep. a beautiful thing for those that have their eyes open you know mm -hmm. but for those that mm -hmm. don't have their eyes open oh my goodness they're suffering and we pray yes. for those that suffer and we give them love. We send them love. Unfortunately, those that are suffering, a lot of people that are suffering are suffering by choice. And, you know, they're making the choice to suffer. They're making the choice to suffer because things, yep. challenging things are happening to everybody. So it's a matter of how are people reacting to their current circumstances. And we already know that as soon as you change your negative situation to a positive interaction or to a positive perception, the whole situation changes. All of us have done it, that have done it, experienced it. We, we know it. So yes, we do walk a different walk and our experience is different. And we're able to go take a stroll, you know, on the mountaintop on a Sunday morning or go and just look out into the sun in the sky or watch squirrels play and have, man, there was a, a it was like TV over here yesterday um, outside in the backyard because squirrels, there was about, well, I seen about four squirrels and there, there had to be about, uh, um, Solution saw eight. You know, so it was like, and the whole day and Faye, she was looking at them all morning. So they just kept coming and it was like, you know, you just get to see life in a different way from a different window, you know, and it just really depends on where you are, you know, and where you are in your mind is going to show in your reality, you know? So yeah. it's like for everybody that's <laughs> going through any kind of suffering, you got to fix it by getting back into yourself and making this connection with this seal that is inside of you that every one of us has. And we've been talking about this for a long time. That's why it's so cool how everything just kind of flows. It's like, yeah, we're on page, you know, on this whole other page in the Bible and it's still flowing with what we talked about last week and the week before mm -hmm. and the week before. Yep. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. yeah, that's what I was going to say. It's, it definitely still talks about, feel like last week it, or even the week before last, it was saying how, you know, um, leaning on your internal compass is a big deal and trusting your internal compass is, you know, a big deal. <laughs> that's, that's aligning with your 
with the spirit that's within us that is congruent with most high. So it was, it was interesting you know, how it even said, even if you're engaging in a different religion, yeah. you having your internal compass, your third eye available to you will still place you in that place of benevolence, even if, you know, no matter how you're existing in the term of religion. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it was, it was, yeah, that was. That's where we get to that trust. Yeah, yeah we yeah. gotta trust it. Mm-hmm. We have to have faith. We have to know it. Yeah. You know, and this is the time for it. You know, because everything, ooh, it is, it is crazy out there, and it's, and it, mm-hmm. it really is interesting the the deals that are being made, and all the time that I see it, Smokey, it really is like we could, we could, you know, the energy of the devil of the of the. You know, the shyster, mm-hmm. the, it, it is very clear the energy that exists right now. And there is just no better way to combat it than to come into yourself and stay grounded in what you know and in, in, in recognizing who you are. So that was a fantastic one. Um, I'm happy that uh, we opened that one. I'm ready for our next. This is how it's going. It's like we're just speeding through life, it seems like, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So Smokadocious is going to get us ready for the card pull for the week. Yes, yes. We all want to close our eyes, focus on the topic that you want a reading about. We're going to call on our angels and guides asking for assistance. The guidance that we are about to receive is a wise and benevolent message that will help you on your path this coming week. Okay, so here we go. Okay, first car. Oh, power struggle. Oh, we haven't had this one. This is going to be interesting. Okay, you may be involved in a power struggle between two or more people. A power struggle happens when two people or a group of people are fighting against each other instead of working together. Each person has their own agenda, opinion, and they may be willing to see, they may be well, they may not be willing to see the other as an equal in this situation. No person is superior to another regardless of their position. Each person has an equal right to have their needs met. Be willing to understand the other person's point of view and let go of the need to be right. If this person would be an unwilling, would be unwilling to compromise or see both sides of the situation, there are always two sides to every story. When we get caught up in our own story, we can be it can be difficult to see the other side. Step back, take a breath, and be willing to look at this. From a place of love, if this person still refuses to take to take into consideration your needs or the needs of the group, it does not mean that you have to let go of what is your best interest or in the best interest of the group as a whole. You can always agree to disagree. Whatever happens, refuse to contribute your energy to this power struggle any longer. Continuing to power struggle is a waste of your precious time and energy. Pull out of this energetically toxic situation and neutralize the situation with a refusal to give it any more of your attention, at least for now. Okay, this card depicts the energy related to your question. And ultimately what this is, is what I'm getting is the energies that we're in right now with Mercury retrograde, a lot of miscon- miscommunications, a lot of, you know, energies that are surfacing that need to be addressed so that you can actually move forward. And instead of, you know, wanting to be right or, or thinking this is where I'm standing, just kind of take a break and just look at it from a different perspective. And I feel like everybody's kind of in that struggle right now. And perfect card. Once again, the angels don't let us down. Mm-hmm. That is a perfect card. And that's the same thing that was coming to me when you were reading it. It was um very specific 
for someone that uh, like well for all of us but mm-hmm. i felt that it was very specific for for somebody that's listening that is just dealing with that in their household um consistently mm-hmm. yeah and that's really important because Man, th- this time right now, it's like, a, as you were um, saying it, I'm thinking of all of these things in Mercury and retrograde and, you know, making decisions and the communications, all of that uh, was just coming. So um, thank you so much for that one, mm-hmm. Smokey and the universe. I appreciate it so <laughs> yeah, much. Solution, how'd you feel about that? Yeah, I would say that that is probably very... Um difficult to find anyone who's existing in this on this planet right now that's not in some kind of you know um, tug of war or, or challenge with you know the the next individual so that's um yeah it's, it's, it's it, you know just given where we are you know it's a lot of people you know having to work together mm-hmm. or having to you know, um, play off one another and those relationships can definitely be in disarray and in yeah. challenge and in turmoil because of that. Yes. You know, teamwork is being challenged and tested. Yeah, yeah. Required. It, it required. That's mm-hmm. that's the key right there because it's like, you know, even though we're going through this process in our own, you know, when we talk about self-healing in ourselves and what we're doing for ourselves, but we're still, we still live in a community, whether it's, that's just the community inside your house or your community, you know, in your neighborhood, your community at work, you know, it, it's people that are going through this shift and this change in their own ways. And we do have to have compassion and we do have to recognize that we all have a different perspective. And the most powerful thing that I can share is that when you are in conflict, there could be no conflict if you take yourself away. You know, like if yeah. you're, if you're arguing uh-huh. with somebody, you're in a situation, if you're giving it fuel, it doesn't matter what you say. When a person is arguing and they're in that heat of that moment, they're not listening, right? <laughs> so it's like, what is the point? The best thing you could do is just shut it down. This is not a good time for this. Leave in love and come back when you're able to really speak on it. But you have to recognize that people are not where you are, okay? Mm -hmm. And so Mm -hmm. respecting where they are is important because we weren't always where we are, you know? So it's like we can, it is so important to, to encourage growth and evolution and allow people to be in the spaces where they are because it's necessary for their development. And so when we detach ourselves from that situation in that way, and we're not taking it personal anymore, then it makes a world of difference. And speaking of not making it personal, I will recommend this is a good time to read the four agreements by Miguel (laughs) Ruiz. You know what I'm saying? It'll change your life. It changed my (laughs) life. And it's like Don Miguel Ruiz. That is the four agreements. And when you stick to those four simple things, your life will completely change because it really is about the four agreements. What is it? Doing your best every day, not taking things personal. Um, No no assumptions. No assumptions. That's a really good one right there. And what's the other one? The last one. Oh my goodness. Wait, I got the book right here. Do that. That's okay. So we got got the book right there. Hola, Ebony. Welcome. Okay. um, Don't take a person. Don't assume. Always do your best. Don't make assumptions. That's it. Don't make assumptions. Don't take Uh anything personal. Don't take anything personal. And be impeccable with your word. Yes. Yes, yes, that's it. And that's a really yes. important one. It's yeah. funny because that one was, you know. That's the one I always, we all, I seem to always forget as well. The yeah. be, the be yeah. impeccable with your word one. Yes. And it's the, it's like one of the most important ones because it's like, as you do that, when you're practicing being impeccable with your word, it, it makes you look at yourself all the time and pay attention to everything that you say because you want to be impeccable with your word. And impeccable yeah. me, with your word doesn't mean that you don't change your mind about things. It means that yeah. you are in communication and you are accountable for the things you say you're going to do. And even with those things that you say you're going to do with yourself, 
because a lot of times we think be impeccable with your word means, you know, what I say to other people, but it's no, what am I saying to myself? Be impeccable with the, with that word for yourself. When you make a promise to yourself, keep it. Like my promise of no sugar is going really, really good, by the way. Good job. Thank you so much. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> so I think that that's uh, pretty much all I got for this week. Things are moving fast. Um, it is a it, it is a, a magnificent time, full of surprises, full of uh, abundance. You know, it really, really, truly is. And 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 I will continue to pray for those that are not able to see it at this time. And I know that they will see it in their own time. You know, and I pray for uh, patience. I pray for patience that is really necessary right now because, you know, when we get excited about things, we start to forget that patience is still part of the process. And it's important for us to be graceful in it because there's a lot to be thankful for in the moment, you know, in this present moment right now in this time. And we know that that's creating tomorrow. So let's be grateful for what's happening in this instant, in this moment. So, um, with that, well, we still got about um, three more minutes. It's funny because I've been looking at the at the clock because I want to be mindful of everybody's time. Um, but we got about three more minutes left. So I want to yield the floor to any of you two that have anything to say, Smokey Solution. No, I'm good. You're good. I'm good. Solution is good. Ebony, you're good. <laughs> Symphony, sending you love, sending love to all of you guys that I know. I know uh, you guys are listening. This has been a really interesting week. Um, we have our event for June nineteenth has already expanded. So um, we're, uh, uh, you know, you guys in the group are definitely going to be aware of the details on that for those that want to come out to this area and check it out. I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for everything that is happening in the world and my ability to understand it and comprehend it. So um, I'll keep you guys posted on the event is the, the healing. What was it that you were calling it, Solution? A sacral healing extravaganza sacral healing extravaganza and that that's another thing that's really important to remember that our healing and the work that we're doing on ourselves is helping a lot of people and for a lot of you it's going to be a whole change in your career a whole change in life and helping other people in your comfort in your love so um i'm very excited for that for all of us because it's happening now so with that i'm going to go ahead and uh let smoky close it out because everything that was meant to be said has been said, and we're going to move on with our Sunday. Thank you very much. The light of God surrounds us. The love of God enfolds us. The power of God protects us, and the presence of God is with us. Where we are, God is, and so it is. And so Amen. it is. That's true. Yeah. <laughs>